The P0, the concept prototype, has served us well during the past six months. It has been tested and evaluated in laboratory, in dino cells and on the water. It is now fully evaluated and it has reached the end of its lifetime and is now replaced by the P1A model. During tests with the P0, we have confirmed that we have 300 horsepower on the propeller shaft. The engine is capable of more. One of the challenges in the project has been to combine the requirements from the customers on the new OXC 300 diesel with the coming and existing legislation on emissions. Our success in this challenge ensures that the OXC 300 is a product for the future. Based on performance tests, the OXC 300 will consume 40% less fuel compared to a 300 horsepower petrol fueled outboard. This will increase the operational range with 60%. Final optimization with respect to weight and geometrical optimization will be completed before the cowl design is frozen. The P1A will now be fully evaluated in laboratory and in field tests. On P0, we integrated the prime and transmission within the transmission cover. That, however, made the assembly very hard. So we decided instead to have a loosely mounted primer transmission. Something that's also very cool with the OXC 300 is our dual impeller seawater pump. We're using a well-sized and robust seawater filter to make sure that no dirt and debris reaches our seawater pump. The use of glyco in the OXC 300 allows us to remove heat directly from the engine, just like an inboard engine, but without the requirements to have seawater circulating so closely to or within the engine itself. This allows us to then bring the heat from the engine without having any corrosive materials as a requirement for the power head or the actual cooling system itself. When we designed the cowl, we had limitations on size, both on the inside and outside. On the inside, it was, of course, the entire power head to make sure that it fitted. And on the outside, we followed the ABYC norm to make sure that we could directly replace it with petrol outboards. The cowling for the OXC 300 carries on the heritage from the previous models. And I think you can see a lot in the form, the aesthetics. It provides the stealthy design. The reason in the first place to introduce a water-cooled exhaust manifold was to reduce the surface temperature. You don't want that heat surface under cowling. And the main limitation introducing a water channel was to keep the outer size down so it's a narrow space around the exhaust manifold. There have been a lot of calculation behind this design. We have a twin turbo because uh, it's necessary to have an efficient uh, working of the turbos in the whole range. The big turbo is designed to deliver air at max power and the small turbo is more efficient when you have low revs and low loads. With our dedicated and motivated design and verification teams, we are confident to deliver the OXC 300 to the market on time. <laughs>